Hello and welcome to Sea Open at Atlanta. Legacy Atlanta. We're at Good Atlanta today. No super speedway racing to be found. Although we still might not be uh, lifting all too much because we're in the trucks. Good old low powered trucks. <laughs> but, uh, you know, actually, there should be plenty of uh, lifting, I think, if you want to save tires at least. But heading into qualifying here. Uh, probably only going to be a tiny bit of lifting. I've got my OSR set up all ready to go with a little bit of extra tape so that way I uh, might get a little bit more speed. I went from 66% that I'm going with in the race to 88% seems to be uh, where I was happy although on the second lap it does get a little bit a little bit hot. But hopefully it'll uh, it'll be a trooper for us and <laughs> last all the way through with our second lap. Maybe we won't even need it. Maybe I can uh, hit a hit a flyer lap on the first attempt. We won't even need that second lap, but we'll see. I think the tires could be a little colder on the first lap, and it could make it harder to get the grip I need. But we will give it a go. Green, green, green. Okay. Comes your first time flat. Oh, that got really loose. But as expected, it's very loose. I didn't handle it too well either. <laughs> Already getting a water temperature warning. So we'll lift a little bit. Just get a solid lap in, hopefully. Eh, it's okay. And then now we'll really go for it this lap. Hang in there, engine. I know it's getting hot in there. Very loose, but it gripped. Oh, we're in the red! <laughs> Hang in there, engine, please! Counting on you. This is going to be a better lap if you just hang in there. Oh, okay. We can breathe. Got another tenth. How long will it, will it take for it to blow now? I'm curious. Will we make it to do a green flag pit stop? I'm definitely going to need to make sure to put this tape back down or else uh, <laughs> we will not last long in the race. Green flag pit stop. Watch your speed. All right, that works. Thank you, Michael, for letting us know you are pitting this okay, lap. Team. Wouldn't want to run into you in your qualifying session. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to just uh, while we're waiting, one, see how long it takes for the engine to blow. <laughs> we'll go ahead and. Yeah, I was gonna practice being quick off pit road, and I guess we still can, but I was in second gear. Because it was a late decision. We're already in the red. <laughs> it's gonna blow before we even make it one lap. Before we even make it to the start finish. I'm telling you, I pushed it right to the edge for qualifying. All right, Colton, you water 275. The engine is melting. Oh, the anticipation's killing me. It's like sitting on a balloon, waiting for it to pop. The oil temp's getting up, too. Oh, my God. It's going to blow. <laughs> They're both in the red. This shouldn't be as fun as it is. Oh, my God. And when we hit 300. Oh, my God. Hey, look, our... Uh, RPMs are fine. They're in the green. We're fine. Oh, God. Come on, 300 oil temp. You can do it. High line, because why would we lift? You can do it. 300. Oh, man, this is lasting much longer than I expected. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> there it goes. Didn't quite get to 300. 
So that's uh, what not to do in the race. Engine went kablooey. Whoa, I just looked at my... I stunk! I just looked at my lap time. I thought I did okay. And he was freaking 15th, you kidding me? I thought I had a good lap. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Back to 66% then. Huh. We might be not good. We are the 8 truck, which is uh, pretty cool. I didn't expect it to be such a high stoke the field race. 3.8. So a top 10 would be pretty, pretty good. I'd be very happy with that. I feel like Gavin was the 8 truck in his race, too. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I did watch his race today. And uh, he's always got one of Daniel's setups. Or I think he had an old Daniel setup for Atlanta or something. But uh, that, of course, is probably almost always going to be better than OSR. And, uh, of course, this isn't really, the setup isn't made for qualifying, it's a race setup. Just because I changed the tape doesn't really change that, so. We get what we get. Pretty full field, 24 trucks. Full for a truck field, I guess. I don't know, I guess sometimes you get more than that. We'll keep the uh, temps there, just in case it starts getting a little hot. I did do my signature 1% uh, tape increase on the OSR setup because I was just like living on the edge. I shouldn't be pushing that hard anyway so I can save tires. If it's getting hot then it just means I need to lift a little bit more and save those tires a little bit better. Maybe some extra incentive if it starts coming to that. Session last lap. But I mean, crazy strong field we got around us here. I mean, I see a pair of two or six point ones just ahead of us in eleventh and fourteenth. Joe Joseph, I recognize him all the time just because he's got same first and last name. He's even got squared at the end to drive the point home. A lot of guys I don't recognize. A couple that I do, you have three. and maybe for uh, some other wrong reasons, but I think it should be okay. I hope so. Gavin's race went completely green, which is everything I could ever hope for. We need to follow car number zero nine in the inside. Completely green race would be awesome. Get up one, go. Get up Hope the guys behind are somewhat patient. I do want to save tires as best I can. I think the aero push with a big pack of trucks in front of us is going to make the truck plenty tighter. And I don't want to put it on the right front trying to push through that. Plus, you get a situation where, you know, maybe guys are turning the wheel harder because it's getting tighter, and then all of a sudden they're maybe in a bit of clean air for a second, a pocket of clean air, and their wheel is turned very far to the left, and the tires are cold or something. That sounds like a bad combination of factors that could lead to someone spinning or something. So, always going to keep an eye out. Hopefully we don't see that happen in front of us. It is a second gear start. About to go green. Stay focused. I'm gonna give a little bit of space in front of us. 80 lap race. Okay. Post car is ready. off. Be ready. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green, green. Green, green, green. They're not going all that fast. <laughs> Seems with the new restart zones, it's pretty much just go on green at this point because the green comes out so soon when you hit the restart zone. And everyone's bunched up. Oh well. Okay, yeah, let's blink. That's good. Cool. Alright, that guy ahead of us is going to take it three wide on lap one. That's always pretty cool. And then he's going to hit the apron. What if I told you that was one name I was worried about? Should I not say that? Probably not. 
So far is fine. That's not fine. That's less fine. Not fine. Not fine. Not fine. Not fine. Not fine. We're fine. <laughs> Everything was fine all along. Why did you doubt me? Why did I doubt me? Uh, we did not get a green race, actually. But we did navigate good old Days of Thunder right there. Very thankful no one behind us plowed into us. So that's cool. Yeah, it was a little three, but that lit off in the main. Why are you in such a hurry? Tracks wide enough for three, you gotta hold the line. Uh, he's in a hurry because we're in a race. The uh, job is to try to win. Yeah, you definitely want to lead lap three. That's what matters most in this whole event. Well, oh. I'm just saying, I got hit from behind. It wasn't me holding the line. I got rear-ended. Don't blame there being more time in the race when you're not being able to hold the line. Sorry. I think we have some ego waffles in this race. Big egos. Looking forward to battling with you. Crispy, delicious breakfast waffles. That's just stop because the incompetence level just keeps growing. Yeah, I was sold in your shoes about a month ago. Sounds delicious. Maybe not necessarily like <laughs> a frozen ego waffle, but like not, not those are good. Those are fine. But I mean, like you know, terrible. I just I'm gonna turn that off. I don't think I'm gonna hear anything useful on the on there this race. I'll turn it on if we start getting uh, green flag pit stops or something later. Um, but man, that sounds great. Like a professionally made. Waffle, Belgian waffle or something. Yeah. <laughs> Why did so many people pit? We're in ninth. So we've gained six spots, and we didn't even need to take it three wide to do that, believe it or not. See, the thing is, <clears throat> they say, you know, track's wide enough for three wide. You should be able to hold the line. Okay, fair enough. Someone should be able to hold a line. That's great. But why are you trusting other people to hold a line? Why are you taking that risk? Where's the nine? Oh. Some, that was weird. Um, why are you taking that risk? Why would you even need to? Sure, you can, like... Take it three wide and then be like, what the heck, man? You didn't hold your line. But also, you put yourself in that position to have to trust someone to hold a line in online racing against a bunch of strangers that have probably proven time and time again that they can't hold lines. That's what I don't get. Pattern? It didn't seem to work out uh, for whoever took it three wide and then uh, they didn't have someone hold a line or whatever. Get ready, going green. That's just me. We're back going, that felt quick. Can't see. Ooh, wow, that's actually really light. Almost felt like tire spinning. I guess it's this old, worn-out surface or something. I'm gonna watch out for that future restarts. How wobbly that gets. Kind of hold my line down here on the bottom. Taking it easy on entry for the most part. Get 
getting held pretty tight up there, but nothing unreasonable, I guess. Ooh, that was a big checkup. Ooh, that was a big checkup. <laughs> wonder if someone was getting loose up there. I had to check up like twice in a row there. Sounded like I was a CD skipping. Seven's got a block, I guess. Is that what that is? I don't know. Seems weird, but I'm uh, going around him anyway. I guess I'm pushing too hard. I don't know why I'm moving forward. I really don't feel like I'm pushing, but usually that's what happens. I'm like, yeah, I'll save tires, and then I don't save tires. Well, an air sure is nice, though, because that will help, I think, having uh, less of a giant pack in front of us. Again, I don't feel like I'm pushing all that hard. We'll have to watch the attempts, of course, as I said. The guy behind's gonna have a big run. We'll probably let him go on the low side. And yeah, he's not he's not quite up here. Oh my god, that didn't stop him from almost hitting me. That was pretty darn close. I did take Nate a note of his A1.8. Planned on giving him some extra room just in case. I must be doing something wrong, because there's they're kind of falling back behind me, and there's no reason this dinky <laughs> OSR setup should be in front of all some of these guys. So I'm going to regret that, probably. I'm going to regret all of this. Don't want to try to pass this guy, necessarily. Uh, I guess I do. I really want to, but I felt like I had a run and I didn't want to just lift off, so... Uh, we're in fifth for some reason. We'll get past later though, there's no way I'm saving tires right if I'm up here. I gained like so many spots. I'm up ten spots from the start already. However many were from the wreck and then people pitting, of course, but... I have to kind of just trust them not to run into the back of me as I'm saving tires. They're kind of dooring each other back there, it looked like. So that's kind of weird. That guy's a B2.7. Give him some space as well. Yes, I'm judging books by the covers. That's how you know if you want to read them or not. He's ready to go up there. Uh, I'll leave the lane up here if this guy wants it. I'd rather be on the bottom. I feel like I can save tires better down here. Maybe not. That got pretty tight. It's just because I couldn't take the angle I wanted, though. That feels fine. Just trying to make sure I uh, back up my corners properly here.
Hey, if we can go green from here, that'd be great. Even though we had the early caution. Go green from here. And this guy wants to go. We can go on ahead. I'll take this corner extra soft. We need him to hold it together, though. I think he's uh, I think he's fine. I think it. He's looking a little wobbly just because of connection or something. Maybe you can see it looks like he's just shimming just a tiny bit, and that's what was making me nervous. I think maybe it's just uh, the game a little bit unsure of where he is exactly, but only a tiny bit. Very happy with how this has started off, though. I feel like I gained a ton of spots without really trying. Maybe that higher line just got checked up a whole bunch as I was uh, running down near the bottom. Got draft in front of us, which is always something uh, worth considering in trucks, making sure you're in draft. So often uh, you're on the throttle most of the lap in these, uh, in these vehicles. We'll see how our long run goes, though. It's looking like guys are going ahead, but... Again, it's not like I'm going as fast as I can at the moment. Very tight. It's fine, go on ahead. Like I said, top 10 would be just absolutely okay with me, and it looks like right now I am in 10th. 9th. Even better. So, things are just fine. Pretty uh, interesting how spread out it's gotten as well. Seems like there's a lot of room around, for the most part. Twelve point five gallons is what we're saying for fuel. What's the play on that? I mean, probably don't do anything too crazy. Just come in when the other guys do, maybe. Maybe there's an undercut. I remember in Gavin's race, he came in a little bit early. I think he followed the twelve. I can't remember exactly when. I just remember he followed the twelve. I should be looking for the twelve truck because he followed the twelve truck in his race and. Uh, it really worked out for him. So where's the 12? If he's on pit road wrecked, then uh, that's what I gotta do. I gotta just beeline it straight for the wall. That's the strategy I need to pick. I think he's, I think he's wrecked. 22nd place. Uh, Vitor. 20 seconds back. Last on the lead lap. <laughs> okay, maybe I won't follow the 12 trucks lead them. Not so sure about that. We might have different plans in mind for this race. We're still falling back, which isn't great. Not tragic either. Still not really pushing at all. Kind of trying to be consistent. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Okay. All right, that guy's just gonna dive bomb me. Cool. Gonna wait one corner. I couldn't set up a pass. No one knows how to do that. So we're just gonna dive bomb. It's not like I was aiming for that apex or anything. Nah, you go ahead and take it, and just hope that I don't take my normal line, like I planned to. 
Maybe I was feeling stubborn today. Maybe I wanted to take the Apex anyway. But you decided to throw me a surprise birthday party and just show up down there. That's okay, I'm feeling generous today. I'll share my bottom line. <laughs> that actually got loose for a second. That actually felt great. I would like for that to happen. Getting some rotation. All right. Did not expect that to start happening. Maybe it's a long run because, I mean, all of a sudden we're going faster. Lots of turn. We're about a half tenth up on the previous lap. The truck has only started to feel better. All about that. That was a little bit of a four tire slide. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. But it was not a major moment or anything. Just a little bit unsettled. We'll see how this evolves. A couple of leaders are gone, but we've got some people that aren't too far ahead of us, right? Uh-oh, I see smoke. I'm not sure what happened. I think we go long. At least until this uh, truck gets problematic, I guess. Problematic. Alright, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Alright, alright, take it easy. That's uh, really trying to get loose on exit. Again, really not what I was expecting. I was really expecting this thing to get tight. Instead, it's just getting loose on X. The number one truck, apparently, on his way. Just saw him in my rear view. Gonna have to drive through the loose moments here. So far, so good. Uh, I guess uh, Joe Joseph is one of the guys in the wreck. I think I he was. Uh, um. Minting to somebody high one. Kind of half gave him a lane there. It looked like he wasn't going to stop. It looked like he just was going to keep driving in. Alright. <laughs> it's pretty fun to drive, actually. Give it to him. Inside. Still there, inside. It's clearly faster. Stay high to the car on the low side. Clear inside. Don't want to get too close to the back of him. Get him loose. And uh seems like trucks are evolving to get loose already. I figure with the one truck he probably could handle it, but I don't want to risk someone spending directly in front of me either, so. Won't uh, won't get too close to his rear end. Not necessary. 
Maybe he can pull me forward, though. A little bit of draft. That'd be cool. Someone on the wall. That's Winnie right there. He lost all his momentum, it looks like. I'm not sure if I can drift out to the wall there, because it looked like I was approaching 20 pretty quickly. So it kind of had to put more wheel in it. Got me a little bit more unsettled than I already was. Get around him, that was pretty smooth. You're in the top you ten. Back into the top outside. ten. Outside. He's gonna go to my outside for some reason. I know I just passed him. Yeah, that might just be his line, I don't know. Kind of getting tight now in center. Not terrible. But I gotta be easy on the throttle, otherwise, I could end up in the wall. Very fun to drive. I really like how uh, unsettled it's getting on exit. Very fun balancing act. Nice, that felt good. That was pretty smooth. Through three and four right there. Catching uh, this Caterpillar truck. 21, it looks like. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Ooh, that got really weird. An exit. I basically drifted through exit there. That was the worst slide so far. That is a lap truck taking the bottom line for some reason. Okay, just pit without telling anyone, that's cool. Never mind the fact I almost just died. Nah, I don't need to tell anybody. Smack that brake. Smack the brake and pray. Someone got in the wall up there, I think. I think we go long. Because it's looking like guys are having handling issues, which could mean caution, plus got guys that are going to come out on fresh tires. Doesn't seem like we've fallen off all too much. Given how much green we're seeing. Wait till someone wrecks it. I'm <laughs> trying to enter the pits or something. I think this 10's coming up on us pretty fast. He kind of just showed up in my rear view mirror all of a sudden. So I assume he must be approaching pretty quickly. Unless I've really not been paying attention. Which is also possible. I get tunnel vision here, trying to pay attention to what my truck's doing. Okay. Well, oh, thanks. It's amazing how they're uh, able to drive without being able to see. Much uh, appreciation, much Applaud. Applause? Blueble? That's impressive. Do you think he has like a seeing eye dog in the, in the truck with him? Back off. 
Well, Jesus. Outside is clear. This man. Car inside. Just hang on the outside. Oh my god, he found out how to get around me. Can you believe it? He's just gonna get loose, I guess, passing me. I feel like I had chat muted this whole time. He might have apologized, I don't know. Oh, uh, that, that also makes sense. The other guy might have told me he was about to pit. Said I was going to turn it back on. I never did. Oh well. Feeling just fine. Don't feel like I need to pit anytime soon. Thank you. No problem. Pitting is time, pitting is time. Oh, wow, that got tight. It might be about time. Is it time? Pitting it. It's time. I know I said it'd go long, but that was a really tight moment I had, and it uh, seemed like a lot of people were coming in, so. Three, two, one. Right here. And pretty slow. Entry. Point two! The truck's destroyed. What if we'll get it all fixed? We're done. Get going. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. Uh-oh. There's a car crash. Stay behind the line. Not bad, Yaga. We made a little contact there. All right. I was liking it was okay pit stop. Car outside. I think we gained a lot on that guy on exit. I'm pitting, I'm pitting. from the middle lane. Alright, we'll see how this uh, cycles out. Guy driving in the middle of the track. Clear. Interesting lion to take there. Now. Should be roughly the same length run as the first one there, because we did have a caution early. Still gonna be nice to the tires. Ish. Nice ish. Thirteenth right now. Probably a few more spots I could gain. Maybe temporarily, who knows. I'm gonna stay higher for you in one, Tyler. Really to keeping an eye on the guys behind because I don't know if they're saving as much as I am. Uh oh, I think there was an accident. Entering pit road. Holy cow, dude! Why are you driving in so hard? Everyone wants to just run over me this race. I am saving tires. Atlanta cheese grater. 
kill tires. Didn't Larry Knack teach you anything about cheese graters? Good year tires. Tenth place at the moment. Feeling pretty good though about getting a top 10. We'll see. Feels pretty good. It's kind of a weird point. I don't know if I got the angle right there. Where did the uh, 21 go that almost ran me over? Wasn't he just right behind me? Weird. Houdini over here just disappeared. Kinda don't mind, because now I can not have to worry about him hitting the back of me when I'm saving my tires. It'd be cool to reach this 17. He pit it really early. Oh no, okay. <laughs> I thought a caution was gonna come out, man. I was gonna be upset. Upsetty spaghetti. Car that was the uh, that was the guy too. His engine must have blown or something. Probably uh, could have lifted a little, a little more into the corners, huh? Maybe uh, breathed the engine a little bit. You think? Well, stay high and three for your golden. At all. Car outside. Yeah. Thanks, man. <laughs> I went a little too damn high. <laughs> no, I, 17. I thought I saw him hit the wall. It's weird. The, uh, the guy whose engine might have blown is back? Maybe he's an equipment failure or something instead. He's gonna try to come back out. I don't know. That's weird. The guy behind does not have fresher tires than us, but I think he's pushing harder. Unless I've killed my tires already somehow by going very easy. Which, you know, I've done that before, so. If he wants to get ahead of me, though, that's just fine. I'll take his draft. Allow me to go even softer in the corners. I like this fresh air on my car. No big packs in front of me causing aero push. We're in sixth place. It's awesome. Yeah, it's not like we undercut real hard or anything. I mean, we pit we pit lap 45. Pretty standard-ish time to pit, probably. Started pitting because I noticed other people doing it. I know in uh, Gavin's race though, he was looking good, and then. People started coming up on him late, so that could happen to us too. It looks like the one's on his way. For example, he's flying. Dang. I wish I could go that fast and not kill the tires. I guess he is on fi five lap newer tires as well. But. So 
So we got the tan who likes to run into the back of me. Coming up as well. I'm fresher tires. He's still a 1.4 back, but he'll probably catch me. And hopefully go around me instead of directly into the back of me. 24 just hit the wall real hard, I think. Yeah, that really hurt the 24. Uh -oh. That's too bad. We might fall back to about 8th and then just finish where our truck number is. That wouldn't be so bad. I'm scared of this guy now. He has a uh, history of just running into the back of me. It looks like he wants to do it again. I'll give it to him. Car inside was at 32.9. Still inside. Clear. Now I got draft. Heck yeah. Hopefully I can actually keep up with him and keep this draft for a while. Not likely though with uh, how much faster he's looking. It'll help us out for a little bit though. And I'm not seeing too, uh, too many immediate threats behind us. So that's good news. No, come back, 10. Please, I'll let you run into the back of me again. Just like a little tap, though. Nothing more than last time. Like, I was able to save the one last time. Probably just about that. Nothing more than that, though. Come on, you know, you want to. Just let me have some of that draft. I don't know. I think he's gone. <laughs> I don't think uh, I'm ever going to get back to him either. Even if he is going harder, he does have four lap fresher tires, which is pretty significant at a place like Atlanta. So, looks like we have 14 to go now at the line. Don't think the 24 is going to be able to catch us, though I could be wrong. He was kind of just equal our pace before, and then he smacked the wall. Ten got real loose ahead of us. Twenty-three back there. Pretty much same tires. Thirteen. He's got two lap fresher tires, but he's got a lot of ground to make up. Six seconds, and it looks like he's battling the twenty-three as well. So I think. Right now, it's looking like we are set up for an 8th place. Which is fantastic. Like I said, top 10 would be a great finish. 3.8k strength the field. 8 as the number 8. I can very much be happy with. And as I always say, especially with a free setup. It's the 1% tape. It's because I'm a master setup builder. I took a free setup and I sculpted it into divine art via 1% extra tape. <laughs> it's, that, it's that downforce, it's that 0 .01 seconds, no, not even that much, <laughs> 0 .0001 seconds of extra speed on the straightaways. All the difference, I tell you what, I'll tell you what.
lap car coming, maybe. Isn't that another guy that I something happened with? Didn't he run into my door or something? I don't remember. I feel like I've been hit by like three, four different people this race. Thankfully, nothing too serious. Truck, though, still has just been feeling just fine. I think, uh, this OSR setup's doing a fine job. Don't think it has quite the raw speed, but if you take care of it, it seems like you get some nice, consistent laps. Doesn't do anything too dumb on long runs. Actually got kind of better over time a little bit. On that first run, started getting loose on exit. I imagine we might start feeling that again here soon. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Oh yeah, I feel a little. I just as I say it, I start to feel it a little bit. Yep, there it is. Which isn't uh, necessarily too bad. I'd much rather have that than tightness. It's been enough to get me a uh, solid finish looking like. Now, of course, there were people that wrecked earlier. Maybe there might have been problems on pit road for some guys, I don't know. But that's all part of the racing. Still looking okay behind us. No one coming up on us. I don't even think that lap truck is going to reach us. Nine is the leader with a second-ish gap, it looks like, to second. I hope we don't get a dumb late caution flag, and then we all just explode in a green-white checkered. That would be unfortunate. This has been a great race so far. I don't know if I can make it through another <laughs> ordeal in front of me. Do my slow weaving through the wreck earlier. That'll be a fun one to watch. I was, I was unsure for a second during that wreck if I was going to make it through. Felt like I was going to get hit from behind or someone was going to slide down, bounce off a wall or something. Like it just felt like I was in the danger zone, but it, it worked out. Fun. I enjoyed driving it. Uh, the setup was kind of fun too. Didn't get crazy tight like uh, the B car at Auto Club. That one got crazy tight after a while. Probably a lot of my own fault for driving it. But I think for once I did an okay job being patient. You know you're doing a good job being patient and good on the tires when you're getting hit from behind a lot. That means you're probably uh, actually saving tires. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. Uh, -uh. uh -huh. you did not just do that. Get off the track. Are you kidding me? I don't like that guy. That guy has caused problems. Plenty of other times, too. Oh, that's fantastic. Lovely. Couldn't just... Keep it moving, huh? Nah, of course not. Well. We die now. Master setup. Builder over here. We're gonna add another percentage of the tape. It's <sighs> You know what? We're getting crazy. That's going to be the edge. That's when we have our photo finish for the win. That's what's going to edge us out. No one even says anything. Radio silent. wonder if that was a friend. Helping a friend. 
Let's see what it's like later. Watch your speed limit in the bed. Ooh, careful now. Could I have taken two? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I want as much grip as I can. It will be loose on the cold tires, so... I don't know if I really needed to do that. Move it, move it! Alright, what's this gonna look like? We got people staying out? Of course we do. We get three of these things too, that's right. No. What place are we in? We couldn't just have a nice 8th place finish, could we? Now I will say, early in the... What's happening there? Those lap guys? What's happening? I don't know. Uh, I will say, early in the race we gained a lot of spots. Not even trying. I don't know if it's going to look much like that whenever we actually are trying, and everybody else, more importantly, is trying. But we got our 68% tape for some reason. Are we actually in seventh? Did that work out correctly? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, seven. So I am on the bottom. I think that's good. I think that might be where I want to be. I can't believe no one's talking about what just happened. Hmm. Oh, I just, and we're going to get caught in a wreck, aren't we? I'm always negative about this, and it doesn't actually happen as often as I seem to say it does, but it happens often enough that it makes me dread this. I feel like people are going to push really hard. And the tires are going to be cold. Trucks are going to be sliding. One to go. Next time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. Well, that's interesting. What is... This thing is devolving. What is that? What, <laughs> what just happened? Also, we're in fifth, I guess? Who was that guy that just spun? And no one's talking about that either? What is going on? Well, that was really embarrassing. So it was the 16? I play. Okay. Do we gain, like, a row because of that? Was that the guy that was starting fifth? I don't know what's going on, man. It's weird. Oh, I remember it got pretty light on the throttle before. So I might have to pay attention to that. Glad I remembered that. I'm scared though. Get ready, going green. Height car is off, be ready. Hide car is off. Get back in the pit. Tire spin. That was even worse than before. Car outside. Keep right. Keep right. Okay. Still there. A bit tight. Wow, we made some distance on a lot of the guys behind us. Clear outside if you want to. Car outside. 
We don't have the nose on him, so he's going to block this. I'm going to stick it in there anyway. Oh, God. That was weird. My God, James, how many times did he hit me in 30 foot? All right, fair enough. Good move, 10, Mr. Rear Ender. Very good job. We kick out on top five. I don't know if you want me to go all the way and chase it up the track. Yeah, I go over to three and four and have my wheel about nine to the right. Woo! Alright, well that turned out okay. Whew! Look out for the pit speed limit. That was intense. Richard, I didn't realize that uh, you were pit in the middle. My bad. Park it. I don't know what she's doing, man. Like, bang, bang, bang. It's like, she's James, don't drive like that. Get kind of over there, man. Get ready. I am very happy with that. You too, you too, you too. I think going to the bottom. Then I look back and I see there's a car down there. 15th to 5th, free setup. It's all good. It kind of tickled me. I was like, hey, how many times are you going to hit me here? <laughs> no big deal, man. Good rush. There's lots to see in the incident, too. the first one, I just kept on sliding. It was actually just kind of bouncing off me. I was just trying to keep it off the wall. Yeah, it's all good. I knew we were going to get to the line. I just didn't know if we were going to get there straight or sideways, man. Four top ten minutes. Time for a buddy. So... Two was going up the middle, three wide, and lap two. And he's upset at this guy for not holding his line, I guess? I can't remember if he was the guy that was complaining. But also, uh... Trying to go up the middle three wide on lap two. He kind of just ran him over. Lifting is possible. Theoretically. I don't know, man. I think the three was actually the one saying, like, Oh, you should be able to hold your line. But, I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't three wide. He was single wide. And then the two drives it up the middle all of a sudden. I don't know. I just, I don't think it needed to be that aggressive right then. But let's see how I make it through this one. And they're going every which way. <laughs> I was, I was indecisive. I was just slowing the truck down, giving myself as much time as possible to figure out where I needed to be. He's really not holding his brakes or anything. We had like multiple people wrecking. I mean, he got the apron and was getting sideways and then they start wrecking. I'm like trying to go low and then it looks like the 19th sliding low and then he stops sliding low because he gets the 14. So I have to be like, all right, I'll go up the track. And thankfully this guy who was not breaking as hard as me, gets on through. <laughs> Pretty scary, but we figured it out. And uh, some uh, people get taken out pretty, uh, pretty immediately, including the two and the three. Well, who's upset, I guess? Is that what that was? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the 12, I think he... Yeah, Brazil. So that's probably why the netcode's so bad. From his perspective, it probably seemed like the two got him. He would have gotten him, I think, just because he ran into the 19 and came up. I mean, <laughs> the two will deny it all day, but I, I think he was the one that could most prevent that from happening by not going up the middle three wide on lap two. 
And that, I think, just destroyed the front end of his truck, yeah. Oh, man, the 14 almost got through it as well, and he just clipped him. So then, uh, the 12. Upset at the 2, but probably for different reasons than he probably should have been. I guess. Nothing. F7, we getting a wall. Yes, we are. That could have been bad. Or wall. Ooh. A little bit of confusion. That safer barrier can jump out in front of you. Who's still out here with a broken truck, it looks like. Probably not driving quite right. It's hitting the wall a couple times, it looks like. Some guys are really having trouble getting the thing to turn. This guy, for instance. So some people move to the top lane later in the run. I never felt like it was necessary. I liked the way I was making it through the corners as it was. Never felt a need to try it. What was that? I mean, this guy said you did that deliberately. It sure doesn't look accidental. <laughs> did something possibly incite this? That, I don't, I, that's weird. Like, look, I hit these way up the track. Like, I don't know if he's trying to just get as close as possible, maybe get side draft or something. That definitely didn't need to happen. So that really sucks for the 22. That was totally unnecessary. That like, ends his race. Doesn't doesn't bring out a caution, I don't think, did it? Maybe it did, I don't remember. Now we had green flag pit stops, so I don't think that did bring out a caution. What did I do? Oh yeah. Then just gonna run with the back of me. Like he didn't even really try to not. Does he say anything? Gets me. Nope, not a word. I don't like. <laughs> so he's just he's just gonna do that, I guess. Thank you, sir. And people uh, talking about letting people buy and like, look how far back he is. Like, congrats, you saved your tires better. It's a wide track, dude. <laughs> this is why. And it's it's not only is it a wide track, like, there are two semi-viable lines here. Like, you can make a reasonable case that the high line works well. So just take the high line for a corner, get a run, and it's past me. I'm not gonna drive in fear of you and change my line just because I'm afraid of, that you're not gonna do that. Like, I don't know. No apology though either. He didn't care, I guess. So thank you, sir. I guess it didn't really do anything in the end. Maybe it slowed me down a little bit, but Hurt him more than me, I think. So you just got guys uh, 
on old tires, it looks like. Maybe getting the wall a few times. 23 got it pretty good there. From sixth position, too. That's rough. Oof. Doesn't get it uh, turned properly on the last leg of the quad oval. These guys are going real long, so their tires are really making them struggle, I think. Here's another guy that got into the back of me at one point. Oh, he's a... Uh... I'm listening. It doesn't sound like... It sounds like he's out of fuel. That's weird. <laughs> Why did that happen? It sounds like he's out of fuel. That doesn't even sound like an engine. I mean, maybe it is an engine, but... That's... It sounded more, like, out of fuel. It's kind of weird. So, Dean gets the wall pretty good. Oh, that was him letting me go, and then he's like, Oh, I went a little bit too high. Yeah, he sure did. Must have got up in the marbles or something. I didn't even notice it at the time. I thought maybe he went and got the wall, but he was way up the track, so I couldn't really see. I just gave him a normal thank you. And then I remember that. He hit the wall pretty good. Moving right along. I don't, I don't know why he's just running into the back of that guy. What is with, like, these, some of these guys are just running in the back of people? So that's a lap truck. Was he stuck behind him for a while and not happy that he was? So third and fourth. Okay. So theoretically this guy should go high and he'll go low. No about just running into the back of them though. That's not helping you get past him any faster. Are they yelling at each other? <laughs> Fifteen tried to get him, I think. No, no words exchanged. Everybody was silent in their hatred. He still tried to get him, I think. Like tap him in the back for doing that. I don't know, that was a weird exchange. I think the 15 should have gotten out of the way, but... I know the 11's just hitting the wall. Weird. Weird exchange. And uh, the 4 just comes up and hits him, and then just... Mm, I don't like this guy. He definitely does this on purpose. What a clown. Yeah, I hate this guy. He's always doing garbage like this. So, because he can't keep it off of the lap truck, he's gonna pretend to accidentally spin. He finishes worse, too. Loser. Oops, I spun out. I didn't mean to do that. Now I gotta protest someone. At least in 30 minutes of my life. So this is on the green white checkered, final lap right there. He had some problems back there, it looks like. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got real sketchy. Hmm. Very, very smooth. And then the 15's gonna come wreck him on purpose. Well, there are a lot of dummies in this race, I think. It's kind of a miracle we had such a long run. 
no, 23 is broken. Uh, I do want to see me getting absolutely schooled on the last lap. <laughs> Where was it? So here we are, white flag in fourth, fifth place, kind of battling for fourth here. Cross the line in fourth, but I think he kind of has an upper hand on the higher line. So it gets tight down here. It killed me that I had to check up for that guy. It really did. If I didn't have to check up for him, probably would have done much better. Then it just, I, I can't take the wide angle right here. I probably could have gone higher and got a better angle. Yeah. And then he, he does the crossover and I give him room as much as I didn't want to. <laughs> and then I, uh, I just end up fifth. Good move by the 10 though. I recognize it. That was smooth. Well done. Passes two people off the exit of the final corner. Flips the gratuitous, but actually he did got he got fourth, didn't he? He did not get third. Okay. But check that out. Three trucks within uh, twenty one hundredths of a second. Pretty uh, pretty fun finish. But uh, I was the caboose of that three truck train. Unfortunately. But that's fine. It was a fun finish, and uh, we kept it off of each other. So, 0x. Avoided some trouble out here. Got a top 5, which is so much better than I expected. And uh, it was overall pretty fun. So, I'll take it. One last thing I want to look at as I say my outro is uh, whatever happened to that one guy right before that gave me, I think, 5th on the final restart. Because we were going to be 7th, I thought, and then something happened up here. Oh, no. This was a wave around guy. He gasses it up to do the wave around, and then... Aw, <laughs> oh, poor guy. That's embarrassing. And it really was really uh, unsettled on throttle. So I can understand why that happened. That's pretty embarrassing. That's that's all I was. I didn't gain. I was fifth, I guess. I was looking at wave round guys. So that'll do it. Thank you for watching. That was a pretty good race overall. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.